Hi, friends. Welcome. Now, I am not live. Uh, this is a pre recorded video. I'm going to make this a premiere video so that uh, we can all be in the chat at the same time. I am going to make this longer than normal. So that gives us uh, plenty of time, you know, to uh, chat. Because if I make it too short, then by the time everybody gets here, you know, it's going to be over with. Uh, if, if there's anybody out there that is now joining after the fact, make sure you um, turn on the uh, live chat replay. That way you can see everybody that was in the chat and you can uh, go visit some of their channels too. And anybody that's in the chat right now, if you have a channel and you'd like to uh, let people know about it, go ahead and put it in the chat, you know, throughout this whole video. That'll give people a chance to. Uh, to find some new people out there to watch. Now, uh, let's wait a few minutes and see if anybody else joins us. In the meantime, I'm going to show you uh, some cards that I got. I bought these at an auction. I got 42 state cards. Um, there are a few of them in here that are duplicate, but that's okay. Uh, I paid $12.50. And what they are, let me show you the stack first. Look at this big stack. These are all postcards that fold out to uh, reveal other pictures. I'll give you a few examples while we're waiting on people to come in. This one here is from Holland, Michigan. And some of the graphics on these, you know, are really nice. And then you open it up and these pictures fold out. Look, this one is in excellent condition. And it's uh, front and back sides. Aren't these neat? Let's see. And then here's one from uh, beautiful Milwaukee. Michelle, if you're watching, look at these. The back side has Milwaukee Arena Auditorium. I wonder if that still exists. Then you open it up and there's really nice pictures in here. And also on the back side, here's a an aerial view of downtown Milwaukee. And let's see, here's Sunken Gardens Mitchell Park. Now, anybody that's just coming in right now, I'm just uh, passing some time to let people come in the chat. I'm showing um, some postcards that I got from an auction. There's the arena again. As I mentioned before, this is not live. This is a video premiere, so I can be in the chat with you guys. Here's one from uh, Kentucky. What is this right here? Oh, this is a uh, Floyd Collins Crystal Cave, is this one. And of course the back side. I'll show you one more and then we'll get started with my uh, haul. Here's one, uh, Gulfport, Mississippi. Oh, look at these neat pictures. Now, sorry, but I'm going to repeat myself. Anybody coming in, we are just uh, spending the first few minutes looking at some postcards waiting for some other people to join in the chat. This is not live. This is a video premiere pre-recorded so that I can be in the chat with you guys. Okay, let's see. It's been uh, almost five minutes, so let's get started. For anybody just joining, I'm going to show you the stack one more time. These are a stack of uh, postcards. There's 42 of them, and they're the fold-out kind. You know that show different pictures 
and I got all of these for twelve fifty at an auction. So they are pretty neat. Okay, my friends, let's get started. I'm going to start out by showing you what I got from a, a church thrift store. This is the one I've mentioned to you guys before that is very cheap, and it's in my mom's town. My first item is this right here, and it's handmade. I paid 50 cents, and on the back it says uh, it was to Esther from Eloise, December 1966. And this year, again, I'm going to do a vintage Christmas. I asked my husband if it was okay if I don't put up, you know, the regular Christmas tree this year and just do our silver tree, you know, with the uh, color wheel. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to bring out all my vintage items like this. And I will make a video on the, my vintage Christmas. So I think I did good for 50 cents. What do you think? Then my next item, I paid a uh, dollar, is this desk organizer for all my pencils and markers. And it even has a cute little drawer here, some paper clips or something in there, you know. And it's very sturdy. It looks like it's wood, but it's actually a very stiff cardboard. That is very pretty. And then I didn't realize it. Till I got home, I needed another uh, magazine rack because I have so many magazines. I got this for 50 cents, and it actually matches the side of uh, what I just showed you. It's very sturdy. It feels like almost like a real thin um, wood, but it's not. It's all cardboard. I have so many magazines, you guys. Then I got this, let's see, 50 cents for this garland. It's all rusty metal leaves. I'm going to use this uh, next fall when I decorate. So you will be seeing this again. Down. Hold on a second, you guys. Sorry, I've got something ceramic in here and I don't want it to break. Then, for two dollars, I got this brand new Baldwin toilet paper holder. And Baldwin is a very good uh, company here in the States. One of the things they're known for is also their brass. So, can't beat, can't beat Baldwin for two dollars. Then for one dollar, I got this very heavy cast iron hook with the birds on it. it even has the screws with it. Not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I thought maybe somewhere by the front door, but I don't think I have room by my front door. So we'll see. Or maybe in the laundry room. Then for 25 cents, I just got this sandwich keeper here. Got this for my husband's lunchbox. Then for 25 cents, I got this cute little fox pot holder. It's just plain on this side, but I thought he was so cute. Now, later on, I'm going to show you guys my two uh, vintage uh, ceramic Christmas trees that I'm so excited I finally found. I'm going to show those to you in the daytime, and then I'm going to attach a video so that you can see what it looks like, you know, all lit up. And I also have two um, Fenton Uranium Fairy Lights, and I am going to sell one of them. If you're interested, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to do something a little bit different in the way I'm going to sell it this time. But I'll let you guys know here when we get to, to the item. Uh, for 50 cents, I got this uh, back scratcher. And it says, I got 99 problems, but an itch ain't one. And look, 
the piece of doo-doo. <laughs> I'm not going to say the word. But it extends. Whoops. It extends and you can scratch it back. So we'll keep this one up here in my grill cave. Then for $2, I got this cute guy. He does work. Look, he's got two little teeth here. Isn't he cute? Now he's actually a very, um, like a dark orange. I mean a real pretty orange. But in the video I've noticed uh, he's turning out a little bit light. But he is very orange. He's like a dark carrot orange. Isn't he cute? Here, woo! Woo! <laughs> I thought he's so cute. Okay, excuse me while I put this on the floor. Now my next items are from uh, auctions. Nobody was bidding on this D pin here. It is a little gaudy. But nobody was bidding on it, so I put a dollar on it, and of course I won. So uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I have an idea, but I'm not going to tell you yet because it's going to be another video that I'm making. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know, know that um, I used one of these pins and made a piece of art. Then... I showed this on my Instagram. I need to put my glasses on you guys. I showed this on my Instagram and I don't remember showing it to you guys here on YouTube. Let's see, I paid $5.25 for this cute little picture here. It's in a metal frame. And an Instagram friend said that this is called a Cupid Awake. And it's by um, MB Parkinson. And it was taken back at around 1897. But isn't he cute? The picture's falling down a little bit here. I need to pull it back up. But I'm going to use him for Valentine's Day. So you will be seeing him again. I just think he is so cute. Then I got this for $2, and you might have seen this on Instagram. It is a tape tin. It does have some condition problems here, but I thought it was pretty neat. You don't see these very often here in my area. I like old tins, and I did use this in my Halloween room decor challenge. I had it laying... Um, down like this, and then I had that um, skeleton hand resting on it. Then I got, let's see, this is uh, 1982 Bride and Groom Paper Dolls. I am going to sell this also. Let me take them out so I can show you. The dolls themselves are in very good condition. Here they are here. Because, you know, normally these were played with a lot. And, you know, when I was little, some of them, you know, were bent. Or the, the heads were wobbly. But these are in very nice condition. They even come with their two little blue stands. Oh, here they even show the, I just now realized they do show the stands here on the box. Here's the little plastic stands. And then I did count all 18 pieces are in here. Here's his pajamas. Here's a cowboy outfit some of the tabs you know are bent from being played with here's her nightgown here's her wedding dress 
Oh, and I see some little toes. What's this? Oh my gosh, look at this. I guess they went to Hawaii maybe on their honeymoon. Look at his little toes. <laughs> some smaller ones in here too. Let's see. Oh, here's his suit. So if you're interested in these, I am going to sell these also. I will tell you at the end how I'm going to do that. Now, for $5, I got three boxes. My first box are these shiny bright ornaments. And I don't know how the uh, camera is picking them up. It almost looks like silver, but they are blue. They are a bluish color. Back in the day, they came from a store called Murphy's and they were 83 cents. Now, I'm probably going to keep these for a while and then I'll probably eventually sell them. Not sure yet. I know these shiny brights are uh, highly collectible and they go for a lot of money. Now it doesn't have the original, you know, plastic here. Somebody put uh, some type of very thick, uh, it's like a saran wrap, but it, it's a thicker one. So there's box number one. Here is box number two, also shiny bright, also in the blue color. But the box is slightly different than the one I just showed you. This one does have the plastic. Can you tell, at a certain angle, you can tell that they're blue. And then the last box were the lights. And these were $4.96 at one time from a store called Colonial. I did plug them in, they all work, let me show you. Here's the box again. Let me show you what the lights look like. Here's the lights. So I think I did good, you guys, for $5. I got these lights and the two uh, shiny bright boxes of ornaments. I think I did good. The next thing I got, I don't even know what you would call this. I guess like a bracelet, cuff, ring cuff. You guys know what do you call this thing? But it goes over the wrist and then each finger has like this ring here. I thought this would be neat for a Halloween. I actually got it to put it on one of my hands that I collect, but my hands are either too small or too large. It doesn't fit on anything. Maybe I'll sell this too. But it is kind of neat. I don't know. I have a, a picture of it on my Instagram page if you want to see it close up. Let's see. What did I just say I paid for it? I paid four, four fifty, dollars And it came in a little velvet bag. Okay. Let me take this off, you guys. And then I'm going to uh, show you my next auction find. Now. Here is my favorite thing that I found. I've been looking for this for a while. I found, let me get it on here right, the Fenton Uranium Owl Fairy Light. And I wanted this because, you know, of course I like owls and I collect uranium and I also wanted to use this, uh, you know, for a uh, Halloween time. Now I did have to pay up for for this and the next item. I'm not going to mention how much I paid because I am going to sell the next one. But for some reason they sold this with another one instead of selling it separately because I really didn't want the other one. But any cute. 
Here is, let me put this down for a second. Here is the one it came with. It is approximately four inches tall. Also marked Fenton. And I guess this is the hobnail. Is that correct? But yeah, it came with the owl. I don't know why they didn't sell it separately. This is the one I'm going to be uh, offering up. Now, I don't notice, I did not notice any kind of chips or cracks. When I rubbed my finger over this part here, there is one spot. Let's see if I can feel it again. You can't see it. No, I don't feel it. Oh gosh, now I don't feel it, you guys. It was so tiny. It's like a little flea bite. Oh, right here, maybe. I think that's it right there. Let me keep my thumb there. Oh, right here right here but you there's nothing there you can't really see it i think it's somewhere right here it feels a little bit different right here so there is a tiny little flea bite but it is not noticeable at all with the naked eye here and i'm going to show you at the end how this glows it has a very nice glow to it but it's a small one so what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to make another video with this item and the paper dolls and maybe a third item. We'll see. And we'll do an offer up. But instead of doing it, you know, just for one minute, I'm going to do it for like three days. And instead of commenting in the video that you're interested in it, you're going to send me an email to a little vintage me 64 at gmail. And I'll put a certain time, you know, where we're going to stop, and then the winner, you know, will uh, get this. But I'm going to make another video, so watch out for that, and I'll have all the instructions and the starting bid and all that. So make sure you've hit the bell so you don't miss it. Okay, let's see what else I got. Let me move this down. My next item is this, and I don't remember what I paid for it. It was it was like fifty cents, I think, something like that. It's some old ribbon. Do you guys remember these girls that were my age? We had these in our hair. This kind of ribbon. I found me another apron. Let's see, I paid a dollar fifty for this. Let me move my camera down a little bit so you can see. But it's a it's a full full apron again. It's hard to it's hard to do. It's cute though, isn't it? The little purple button here. Flip this back up. I'll show it to you a little closer. It's kind of scalloped on the bottom. So that's going in my apron collection. If you haven't seen that yet, there is a video that I did recently on that. Then I just got this uh, little foam ball because it looks like a globe. Globes are another thing I collect. Here's two of them up here. This one here is uh, neat. That one, that one lights up. So I got the little ball. Then I don't have the. I think I paid. Oh gosh, the one or two dollars for this old vintage recipe box.
It does have dividers, but there's no recipes. It does have a whole thing of index cards, old ones. But yeah, there's no, there are, there are recipe cards, you know, in here, in here, but there's no recipes. There's like this one. Let's see, I've seen another one here. That's too bad they took the recipes out. Oh, and then there's this one. I hope I'm giving you guys enough time uh, to chat. It's been 25 minutes. Oh, this one's neat with the banana and strawberries and orange on it. There's this one. We're almost done with this haul, and then I'm going to attach the, uh, the video with the uh, vintage Christmas trees. Oh, here's a pillowcase I bought for a dollar. It's got an anchor on both sides. I'm going to take this out to my uh, river property. I thought that was uh, perfect for that. And then I got a cookie cutter that looks like a knife. I'm going to add this to my cookie cutter collection. Now you guys don't tell, but I have a large cookie cutter collection. And I don't even bake. I'm a poser. <laughs> I just like the shapes, you guys, and especially like the metal ones. I have intentions of one day making cookies and actually using these. This would be cute for Halloween. You know, you could make the knife, you know, like maybe a black handle and then have this part, maybe some white icing and then maybe put some, you know, blood or something on there. You know, some red um, frosting for the blood. But I just thought that was cute for Halloween. One of these days I might bake. If I do, I'm going to have to share it with you guys. I have I have good intentions, and then I don't uh, do them. Okay, I think uh, I'm going to show you guys now the, uh, the ceramic trees. So hold on for that. Here they are, you guys. Here's the green one. Now, he did not have a star with it, but that's okay. I can find it. And here is this tall white one. Aren't they beautiful? Here's the base on that one. And there's the base on that one. And this one here, this white one, is all one piece. Because I have seen them, you know, like in two, three pieces where you stack them, but this is all one piece. So is this one. Now, I really don't like all the red ornaments on this one, so I'm going to try to find, you know, some colored bulbs and replace those. This one here has a glitter on it. Now I have not done any type of cleaning yet. I'm afraid to do too much cleaning. I don't want all this glitter, you know, to come off. Now let me see for the uh, the white one, the big white one here, with a uh, you know, all the fees and everything. I paid uh, $52 for it. And I have seen these large ones go as high, you know, as like $150, $170. And for this little one, uh, with all the fees and everything, I paid $56. I'd like to get one more, you know, maybe, maybe a smaller one, so it's kind of like step down. Let's measure these. This one here, this green one, I think is about... What do you say, about 18 inches for the green one approximately. And this big one here, uh, what do you say, probably 22, not counting the star, something like that. But I just love them, you guys. I just think they're so beautiful. Oh, sorry for the camera work. I was sitting on the floor. But I'm going to show you guys what these look like uh, lit up at night. So, hold on. Okay, you guys, here they are at night. The house is pitch black. Look at that. 
Now I do notice that uh, I do need to get some different light bulbs. They're not uh, tall enough because they're not lighting up the very top up here. And this red one here, the star up here is not bright enough. So I need to see what other kind of light bulbs I can get. But this red one does look better at night than it does in the daytime. What do you guys think? I love them. Oh, I love them so much. How neat. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. This one here's got a few holes that need some ornaments added. Do you guys like this all red? Because this is the one I'm thinking about uh, getting little colored light bulbs for. Okay, let's uh, go on to uh, the next item. Okay, you guys, let's turn on this uh, little pumpkin guy, see what he looks like. Oh, look, isn't he neat? Oh, look, he's got, I don't know if you can tell. Oh, what the heck? What the heck happened? Oh, he flashes! Look! He's got a red light bulb in him. Isn't he neat? Well, I think I did good for um, $2. How neat is that? What do you guys think of him? Look at his little teeth. He goes fast and then a little bit slower, doesn't he? All right, next I'm going to show you the uh, Fenton uh, Uranium Fairy Lamps. So get ready for those. Let's watch this for another second here. I like this little guy. Okay, let's take a look at the, the fairy lights. Hey, you guys, I cannot wait until nighttime to show you guys this uranium. So I am in the upstairs toy closet. It is nice and dark. You guys ready? Look at that. Look, my socks are even glowing. Look at that. There's the owl. There's the other one. Oh, my gosh, they glow so nice. I hope you guys are seeing it. There's my foot. But yeah, we're here. We're here in the toy closet. See, I'll have to show you this one day. But how neat is that? It's hard for me to hold the flashlight and the camera at the same time. Let me put this down for a second. Can you guys see that? Okay. Look at that. How neat. Here's the one I'm going to sell. Sorry for my camera work. Look at that. It's so neat. Of course it looks better in person. Look if I put the flashlight on top. Look at that. I have decided that I'm going to make um, my video and post it. It'll air on uh, November 4th at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. And we will run the auction until um, 8 a.m. on the 7th. So make sure you watch for that video on November 4th. It will be under my playlist called Items for Sale. And I will talk more about it, you know, when I uh, air that video. But there it is, you guys. Now the time has come to say goodbye. 
So thank you so much for joining my chat today and for watching my haul video. Comment, like, and subscribe below. Don't forget to hit that uh, notification bell so you know when the next video will be. Thank you all my friends for joining me. I'm going to give you guys a few moments to say goodbye to everybody. You guys can watch this for a minute while you all say goodbye. Anybody that came in late, you can watch the replay. Make sure you turn on the replay chat. Comment below what uh, item you liked, what you didn't like. Here, let's turn the owl around so we can see his face. They are so cool. Okay, everybody. I hope everybody was able to say goodbye. Share, share your channel. Excuse me. I got tongue-tied there. Share your channel with other people. And I will see everybody very soon. I'm going to turn the light off. I'm in the dark now. Bye, my friends.